started my YouTube in 2020, but I didn't really post. I didn't really actively post until I think, I would say October of last year. And I don't know, I just really wanted a break from social media, Instagram, all that other stuff. Instagram kind of just killed my inspiration with this whole constantly, oh, you gotta do this and third for the algorithm. I'm not doing all of this stuff if I'm not getting paid for it. <laughs> so I was like, you know what, let me just go to YouTube. Not because I wanna get paid, but just because I just wanna break from that. And I told myself, I was like, God, if you want me to still keep posting about toys, you and I are gonna go on YouTube and we're just gonna do this together. Whichever way you say I should go, that's the way I'm gonna go. And it was going really well for me. I don't really know, you know, if 900 subscribers is a lot or not. I really don't in terms, in the grand scheme of YouTube or anything, but everybody always made it sound like getting subscribers is a really hard thing. So the fact that I have been able to accumulate 900 subscribers, I feel really blessed by that. Um, but here's the thing. Uh, I did the one thing that I said I wasn't going to do. I started to see those videos pop up where it's like YouTube tips and tricks and how to grow your page and or how to grow your channel. And I told myself I wasn't going to buy into that because I feel like every single time you do, that's when it becomes a job for you. And, you know, there's no reason for you to do that. But it just kept up popping up popping up every other scroll I would see here's how you boost this here's how you boost that so I was like you know what let me apply all the YouTube tips and tricks the vid IQ the um, use these certain hashtags uh, post on this certain time of day do this do that and I forgot the main reason why I, or the, how I decided I was going to do this in the first place where I was like it's just gonna be me and God whatever he says I should do that's how I'm gonna do it no, I decided I was going to take a step away from that and try using other people's tips and tricks. And let me tell you, for somebody who normally doesn't even get a lot of views on my videos, it somehow ended up going from maybe 10 views to like no views at all. And my shorts would go from 10,000 views to <laughs> two. <laughs> and that was the biggest that's what you get um, for me. I'm like, I feel like there was a lesson and I feel like God was showing me why would you try to do things someone else's way when you already know the way I've made you and the way you need to go about doing things for yourself. Because to be honest, and it sounds so cliche, but like there's only one of you, okay? So you have to learn how to do things in a way that is beneficial to you. I could have a thousand people tell me these are the YouTube tips and tricks that they did, but that can't always apply to me because my videos aren't the same type of videos that they're, that they're making. They also do not look like me oftentimes. Um, so somebody whose entire content is based on telling you, oh, well, your page is gonna grow because I'm showing you how to do it. It's a lot different from somebody whose page is showing you toy collections. You know what I mean? Those are two different worlds. And so I feel like that's where, <laughs> that's where the issue lied. I was trying to do things like everybody else and I'm not everybody else. Everybody else isn't like everybody else. You have to do things that you know, uh, you have to do things in a way that you know was going to be beneficial for you because there's only one of you. God only made one of you. And that is the lesson that I took from this. I will no longer be applying YouTube tips and tricks to my videos. For now on, I am going to be doing things. I'm just gonna let God lead me. If he says, hey, this is probably a good time for you to post, then that's what I'm gonna post. If he's like, you know what, you probably shouldn't post that time, then I'm not gonna post that time. Um, and I just feel like that's probably the best way that I'm gonna go about it. Of course, I'm never gonna tell somebody, hey, don't try these hacks. Because if it works for you, then it's gonna work for you. I just learned it's not going to work for me. There's no playbook for me to do, to know how to do what I'm doing. Um, and I think that's kind of the way it's supposed to work. There's not supposed to be a playbook for you to just post videos. You're just supposed to do it because you enjoy doing it. And so I hope you've learned something from this video. If not, that's okay. 